This plume of the dangerous chemical vinyl chloride was released into the air at 7 o'clock this morning after an apparent bridge collapse into the Mantua Creek. The chemical escaped and vaporized into the air and the remainder self-refrigerated into a frozen state, sending scores of people to a local hospital to be treated for respiratory problems, burning eyes and scratchy throats. Officials are characterizing this as a major incident, but say that there is no current danger pertaining to the quality of air or water. The circumstances are stable. Uh, the product that uh, escaped from the tank is what escaped. The remaining product is in a solid form in the tank and through a procedure that's very controlled will, will, will sort of be flushed. Uh, that is not happening yet. Uh, uh, at that time, steps will be taken uh, to minimize any, any escape of, of gas. This same bridge, owned by Conrail, had a derailment in 2009. Conrail repaired it in 2010, but recently neighbors have complained of hearing loud banging noises. Obviously there's something wrong with the bridge. As uh, Tom Butts said, it's, it's a swing bridge. There's not many of them left here. And, you know, the problem with the rail system down here is it, it desperately needs to be upgraded. And it just comes down to resources to upgrade them. A Conrail spokesperson read a statement at a press conference today, but would not take any questions. All aspects of the incident, including the track, bridge, rail cars, and locomotives, are part of the investigation. We will be working very closely with federal investigators to determine the cause. One local resident and business owner is still concerned about the chemical release and says it's already affected the town's economy. For the little guy like us, we suffer because Everything gets shut down, and, uh, you know, my wife has a hair salon down the street, Broad Street Hair Salon. She had 12 appointments today, and they all cancel because they all panic. They see what's on TV, and they panic. They don't want to come outside. They don't want to breathe the air. They don't want to drink the water. They want to know what's going on. We need answers. we got to find out. We, we need to know exactly what's going on. The National Transportation Safety Board is on site, and the investigation is underway. They're looking at a possibility of bringing a crane from New York City to remove the damaged cars. Officials say during the removal process, they will be letting residents know what precautions to take. I think at the very least we will tell people in the immediate area to shelter in place. Now whether we'll suggest they leave their homes at that point, I don't know that that's the case yet. I don't know that that's warranted. But at the very least I'm sure we'll say uh, shelter in place, which is very, a very effective way to, to deal with this. For NJ Today, I'm Derek Kotzker in Paulsboro.